Well, again, uh, welcome to another uh, session. Uh, we're going to just, just have you a quick look at the the PC unit down below, the large capacity tray, uh, it's sometimes it's known as, but it's tray three, which holds 2,500 sheets of paper. You may find you've, you've just replaced the, the paper in the tray or you've come to the panel and it's indicating that there's an error code or the tray three cannot be used um, due to some type of error. The first thing you want to check uh, before you log a call is just come down to the, the actual tray, open up a drawer, and the first thing you want to look at is just the way the paper is actually stacked. Now, occasionally we can have the paper that's just been replaced uh, in the tray where it's not actually flush against this left hand guide, it's actually just a little bit off center and it's touching this little actuator or this large actuator here that can cause an issue as well. So the first thing you want to do before you log a call is remove all the paper from the actual tray. Okay, and then depending on the situation, you want to actually close the door, open up the unit, switch the machine off, wait for about 10 seconds, restart the machine, and what this will do this will allow it to clear any error codes and also bring back any guides that weren't in the home position to a, a reset state. And this is more this is important before we reload the paper. So whilst it's doing that, we'll just actually it's going to come back up pretty quickly now, which is great. Beautiful. We can hear all the uh, clutches and the motors engaging there. So what we do, we open up our drawer. Okay, we've got. Uh, two stacks that we can load and there's an illustration here which indicates uh, two stacks to go in um, to go in portrait so the first thing we want to do is get our sheet some paper and stack the left hand side first and very important this guide is always here if it's in the middle it hasn't reset that's when we want to shut the machine down uh, and let it reset but those guides have to be on the left hand side there and we don't want any of the paper to be even touching this actuator here. We can also find one sheet can knock it out as well. That's how critical it is. So we want to make sure it's all nice and square toward that left. And then we reload our right side. Same deal, we want to make sure it's fully flushed against this right side guide. All being well. Close the drawer. Come up to your panel. You can hear the lift motor engaging for that right side. Tap on the paper tray icon and we should see tray 3 with a little cup there which indicates it's paper loaded and that indicates that we're good to go.